everyone, I'm Megan Wilson, artist and organizer with Clarion Alley Mural Project. Welcome to Wall in Response, a project featuring 16 Bay Area poets responding to the social, political, and racial justice narratives of four walls on Clarion Alley. In selecting the murals for Wall in Response, I reflected on Clarion Alley and its, its role in the community over the past decade and the hypergentrification that has plagued the San Francisco Bay Area. In response, Camp made the decision to prioritize projects that give voice to local and global narratives in support of social, economic, political, racial, and environmental justice. The four murals selected for Wall in Response exemplify successful collaborations between artists and larger organizing forces that represent this collective effort. I'm really looking forward to our fourth and sadly final event for Wall in Response, um, featuring poets Yusuf Alawi, Jason Bayani, Jenny Lim, and Michael War, responding to The Wall, the Arab Liberation Mural, Will to Live, by, uh, completed in 2018 by Art Forces, the Arab Resource Organizing Center, AROC, and Arab Youth Organizing, AYO. <clears throat> Excuse me. The event is on June 25th at 7 p.m. and it's hosted by the Booksmith and it's an online event. So at the end of this video, you'll see information on how to um, how to connect to that and register for the event. You can also go to Clarion Alley's website, www.clarionalleymuralproject.org to also see how to do that. And um, and learn more about the project and see, um, see some of the videos that we've already made, uh, made for the project and from the events that we've had. So now I want to share a couple of events from the Arab Resource Organizing Center that reflect uh, recent victories and, due to the amazing organizing efforts by Palestinian-led movements such as AROC and AYO. <clears throat> On May 15th, over 10,000 people took to the streets of San Francisco in solidarity with the people of Palestine and against the ongoing Israeli settler colonialism violence. May 15th was the 73rd anniversary of the Nakba, which means catastrophe. The colonization of Palestine and the forced expulsion of Palestinian people from their homes in 1948. Then on June 4th, Oakland and the broader Bay, or Bay Area once again achieved a historic boycott, divest, and sanctions movement, BDS, victory for Palestine. After weeks of organizing and community, mem community members mobilized by the thousands to the port of Oakland to block the Israeli Zim operated. Uh, Bolin's cargo ship from unloading its cargo. In a tremendous show of solidarity with Palestine, dock workers in the International Longshore and Warehouse Union, Local 10, honored uh, the community pickets and did not work the ship. In a dramatic move, community members watched as the Israeli apartheid profiteering ship left the port of Oakland a huge victory for Palestine. Wall in Response is part of this work by continuing to amplify these messages. It is also part of community healing that is so needed and that projects like this help to nurture by bringing people together to hear our stories and to share our grief and our victories with one another. I hope to see you on the 25th, thanks. When you're free, I'll be free too. When you're free, I'll be free.
free, free Palestine, free Turtle Island. This is for that kid in Gaza searching for Superman. Sees Apache copters dropping bombs that shake the land. Whoa, damn. This shit preposterous Open air prisons hit with clouds of white phosphorus The rocket took his father The shrapnel it hit his sister Big brother became a martyr To fight off unwanted visitors And you know where I stand Resist, respect that shit Check your privilege cause you ain't getting hit If you were, I'm sure you'd think the opposite